Pastor, we, we have this sister who have so many conditions there and some of them are really life-threatening. Uh, first of all, she has hyperthyroidism. Okay. That was many, many years ago. 20, okay. 23 years, I've uh, been living in fear. So, okay. uh, 23 years ago, uh, because of fear, uh, I, after I came to know that I have uh, hyperthyroid, uh, I can never function normally because fear has uh, crippled in mm -hmm. and I cannot live a realistic and practical life. Mm -hmm. So I told the doctor that, uh, you know, but the medication doesn't help me. Mm -hmm. Doctor say if you don't take it, uh, in due time, you know, it will lead you to further destruction. And that include, that include blindness, okay, and uh, being barren, mm -hmm. as well as also uh, stroke and uh, this uh, high blood pressure. Uh, in this 1992, I did have hyperthyroid and uh, I also have high blood pressure and all kinds of diseases. In the year 2000, my eyes was affected indeed. I did not take the medication, uh, so I, I even become more fearful of uh, being bright. Mm. Then um, I cried out to the Lord because I did not tell anybody. You know, and, uh, oh, you didn't share with your loved ones? I did not. Um, you don't want to worry them, I yeah. think. Okay. So what happened is that then I tried uh, other supplement, and that really uh, led me to further uh, danger that even my life was being uh, endangered. So uh, in, in, 20, in 2007 December, I almost died because I tried this, uh, you know, uh, so-called this... Uh, uh, detoxication uh, to detox. Mm. So what happened is that um, I I thought I trusted God, but I did not. And uh, finally, in uh, before uh, National Day, I was very inspired uh, by God's love once again. Mm. And I actually went and ministered um, Pastor Ronnie's mom's uh, wake, and then I tell the Lord. If I die, I don't want to be a coward. I want to die to be a courageous woman of God. Mm. I say, God, but I cannot do it without you. So on the 8th of August, I tell the Lord, I, I, I went to Satna for a medical checkup. And I say, never mind. Whatever the result, God, so long you don't leave me. If you leave me, I will use my hand to tie your leg. Because anyone can leave me, but you cannot leave me. Mm -hmm. So I <laughs> went to see the doctor. The doctor uh, gave me a full body checkup. Then later I said, Doctor, I also want to check on my thyroid. Mm -hmm. So the doctor looked at me. Then he, from my eyes, from my neck, and from my hand, then he said that, You look so normal, mm -hmm. you know, all this thing. So I said, Doctor, but please help me to check because I hope to have a peace of mind. Mm -hmm. So what happened is that I just want to share the fear of death for the 23 years have left me since 2007. Half of my body was being, uh, was being uh, one side, this is, this is like paralyzed, but I was tested okay, you know, it's like, but somehow I just cannot function normally. Mm. I, have I have stopped of like, I have stopped of, um, I kind of stopped of growing up already since the year 1992. So I just want to testify the, to the Lord because to the, I'm not saying the doctors are no good, but please have to see the doctor. But God is telling me, you know, if you say I'm a great God, I can be tested. So I, I tell the Lord, Lord, yes, I have this is a medical report from SATA that certify that I'm totally healed from thyroid and I don't have high blood pressure. Yes, and I praise the Lord. No more high blood, no diabetes. Even though the doctor say I may be, uh, I may be diagnosed, I may be suspected of diabetics in the year 2007. And in 20, uh, 2007 also, the doctor also tell me because based on the result, I could be diagnosed to have uh, throat cancer. Mm. I tell you, I tell the Lord I have enough, and I say last week. Better to die than to leave. Mm. I'm tired, so I tell the Lord, I'm sorry. You know, but no, you, today I'm totally set free. Yeah, your, your turning point came is when you dealt with the fear. Yes. When you dealt with fear, because Satan used the fear 
you know, to cripple you, to yes. bring along a host of other sicknesses. So if any of you having this nagging fear, you know what you should do? Because you are in Christ, you have the authority. Just say it. Fear, I reject you out of my life. I rebuke you. If it comes back again, say it again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your turning point came actually. That day you get rid of fear. And then you kept trusting God. You yes. wouldn't let God know. And now, totally clear. Yes. Amen. Right? Totally and, clear. And the doctor told me that the doctor, they couldn't believe. And I just want to say that, indeed, it is the Lord Jesus who healed me and nothing is impossible for Him. And because of His love for me, He helps me to see how much I've been loved. Yes. <laughs> and also, I thank God for my family. Right. My friends, my cell group. Praise God. And everyone. Praise and God. thank God for also Pastor and also for Singapore. Praise <laughs> God. Amen. Amen. And yes. I exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name. On high.